In this video, I am going to talk about binomial nomenclature. Binomial nomenclature can be clear from its name that by means two, we all know that by means two, norms mean name and nomenclature means naming system. Binomial nomenclature was introduced by a Swiss botanist whose name was Carl Linnaeus in 1753. In 1753, the binomial nomenclature was introduced. And according to him, basically according to Carl Linnaeus, each organism which is basically plant or animal having two names. One is per genus and the second one is per species. And this system is called binomial nomenclature. This was little about binomial nomenclature. Now let's come to the rules and regulation of binomial nomenclature. Let what rule Carl Linnaeus do for this binomial nomenclature? So the first rule is according to this system the scientific name is must be taken from Latin word. How it is taken from Latin word? Let's take example which is Homo sapiens. Do you know students what is Homo sapiens? Homo sapiens is basically human and this word is scientific name of human. And this is taken from Latin word. This was a first rule of binomial nomenclature. The second rule states that each species has a scientific name which consists of two words. One is Homo, and the second one is Sapien. It consists of two names, Homo and Sapiens. This was the second rule and regulation. Now let's come to the third, third rule of binomial nomenclature. The first name refer to genus is called generic name and this name start with capital letter. If you see this is homo and this is generic name and you know this is a third regulation it stated first name can be start from capital letter. H is capital here. If this is small here, so the third rule can be destroyed, but it, we can write H capital. The fourth rule state that the second name refer to species and it starts from small letter. You see this is small letter and this is species. So, generic and species combined to form a human and this is scientific name. And the last rule states that no two organisms have the same scientific name. For example, if we give name to lion Homo sapien, so they cannot, uh, for example, if we lion Homo sapien, so Fifth rule states that no two organisms have same scientific name. Therefore, only human we give Homo sapiens. So, students, this was all about binomial nomenclature and its rules. Thanks for watching.